Hi, my name is Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds, and we are the scouting staff for the Hula Bowl. Today I have with me one of the athletes who participated in that event this season. His name is Art Green. He's defensive back out of Houston. Uh, nice to have you, buddy. No, I appreciate you, Jimmy. So, yeah, um, a defensive back out of Houston. Um, we felt like um, you had uh, some great size to be able to compete on uh, – a lot of different levels of that secondary, which um, actually led you to play some safety in our event, which is fun. Um, yeah. But uh, before we get talking about some more uh, about you, um, uh, set the stage, bud. Tell me where you're from and uh, tell me how you got to Houston. Ooh, I mean, this is a long story, but uh, I'm Art Green. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Um, I went to my high school I went to was um, Parkway Central. Uh, had a great time. Playing, I played receiver and safety there, and um, after that, had a I was getting a lot of offers, but um, I think my grades was the biggest thing for me in high school, and I had to go the JUCO route, and um, that's when I switched from receiver to DB my freshman year, like permanently, just straight corner, and um, actually it was pretty easy because I was coming off a pretty crazy track season when we broke a whole but we broke some records and we got the state. It was pretty running pretty fast. And then um, also coming off playing receiver, switching the corner, every time the ball was in the air, it was like you just you weren't running past me and you probably weren't catching the ball. So it was kind of easy just off pure athleticism and just using the skills I had. I had like eight interceptions my freshman year and um was just off to a strong start. And then um my second year, I switched to safety. We had a super deep uh, DB room with height everywhere. And um Sure. I just I took the role of safety and, you know, kind of just did what I had to do for the team and was still producing at a real high level. And then um, quarantine happened and um, went through the whole recruiting process of literally all over the country. And um, Coach Belk had called me and um, I had a lot of classes to do that last semester. I had a lot of classes and Houston was kind of the school that just I was telling them I was going to finish, you know, um, and I just bought into what they was telling me and did everything they asked me to do and went in there and did it, finished and um, transferred to Houston and played three three years there at corner and um I can't I can't I can't thank the Houston staff enough just from the coaches that got me there the the strength coaches the nutritionists the trainers all my teammates like honestly they just they sculpted me into the man I am now and just a hardworking person that just got to go get the job done you know um, i just appreciate i just appreciate houston a lot cool man um so just a quick recap uh st louis missouri uh ended up going the juco route and then ultimately found your way there uh to houston so yeah. um uh talking uh, uh just backtracking a little bit um um you said you did some track and field right yeah so um you you, you did that during your time in high school um, how was track, man? I mean, um, give me some of your highlights of your track days. I would say track was fun. My favorite event was the four by one. We um we broke our school record. Was that my sophomore year? I mean, no, my junior year or my senior year? I think it was my senior year we broke. I want to say we broke the record, but no, nah, track was fun. Um, just really, it 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 taught me a lot. Just just off running, really, and it helped me a lot transferring my game to playing corner and safety just to run all day really and um you know my long I got I think I, I like to say I got long legs and I just be striding everywhere really you know yeah track is fun I did the I did the four by one the 100 and I did high jump and I went to state for high jump and the four by one cool man so um yeah I mean I've talked to a, a ton of people who have done track um track obviously um really translates uh very well uh for a guy at your position um, yeah. but, um, training is slightly different when you're yeah. thinking about your training as a track guy and a football guy, um, yeah. exp explain a little bit of the difference. Um, I say actually Pete Bomberito, he's helped me a lot realize the difference between track workouts and, um, football workouts. Like with football, we practice every day, every, like every day hard. We got to get better at it. We got to get better at it. Track is something that you kind of. You 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 work to get better, and then you rest to get your legs back so that you can peak at a certain time. And I would say, like, which is that's that's the difference right there, is because 
with track, you kind of you're gonna work out hard, get what you need to do, trash your legs, but then you kind of got to taper back as the weeks go so that you can peak at a certain time so you don't burn out by the by the big race, basically by the finals or something. Because uh, Pete he talks all the time about how Olympic people they get to the finals and they're just burnt out, but like you see all their times before and they're just running great numbers, great numbers, great numbers, and then after a while they just they start to deteriorate, but I say um, track is totally different for sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, and definitely in the game of football, don't want to peak too early because you need to um, maintain your, you know, yeah. save yourself mm-hmm. for the fourth quarter when it, you know, truly yeah, yeah, counts. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, so yeah, like you said, um, uh, moved from uh, Parkway Central to um, uh, the JUCO route. Mm-hmm. Um Real quick, man. I mean, um, of the guys I talked to with regards to JUCO, biggest thing about JUCO is uh, that I feel like it really helps. I don't know, it helps you grow as a person, as a man, as an yeah. athlete. Um, and so, uh, talk to me about your own personal growth uh, during mm-hmm. that time. Mm-hmm. Um, going to going, I went to Hutchinson Community College, and that's in the middle of Kansas. And I would say. My whole mindset going into it, I really, I was just, I didn't know what to expect. You feel me? Like I pulled up to the school as from being a kid from a, from a city, the city of St. Louis. Like I pulled up into this town that was just in the middle of nowhere. And like, I, I really only had one choice in my head if I wanted to keep playing football. And that was just, um, the, that was just to put my head down and work really. Cause once I got there and you see you start to see the places the people was going and I and Hutch, it was people going everywhere from out of there and you see the history of it and all that, you kinda you kinda just you 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 put in your head that you you ain't really got no other choice but to work to get where you wanna go. And I mean, I've seen people in JUCO just kinda waste opportunities, people that just they don't really see it big picture wise. They kind of just in the moment and kind of want to do things their own way. So once you start doing things your own way, it don't go your way at all. And um, you kind of just in JUCO got to put your head down and stay out the way and go to work. That's 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 really all you can do because anything outside of that, you're not handling your business and you're not really going to get to where you want to go. Cool. So, I mean, definitely learned how to handle your business, taking your yeah. words, right? Um, yeah. during your time there in JUCO. And really the one thing that I feel a lot of people really need to grasp during their time in JUCO is the fact that um, you either love the sport or you don't. Um, yeah. So um, I just want to pose that question to you. Um, what do you love most about the game of football? Honestly, me, I'm a huge people's person. And I love the locker room, the hard summers with your teammates like when you're going through them them workouts and building chemistry with your teammates and just building that camaraderie with your teammates and coaches and stuff like it adds to the game because now it's me and my brothers we're going out to war when they singing the national anthem and you standing next to all your brothers and you see everybody kind of turn into that mode you just it adds to the fire so now it's just like it's me and my boys versus our boys and you know we gotta go we gotta go get it done and um that's kind of my favorite part of football, just being out there with my teammates. Cause I mean, football itself is 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 fun. You feel me? You get to go out there, run around, hit people, make plays, and you know, just go win the game. That's the whole objective is go win the game in any type of way you can. I don't care if it's in the back street, like we gonna go win this game. I don't care where it's at. So I mean, just that whole my teammates and my my team. I love that. Oh yeah, I mean, um, camaraderie uh, definitely uh, tops a- amongst a few great uh, things that uh, football provides. I mean, yeah. um, and uh, again, you found your way from uh, Hutchinson Community. You ended up going uh, taking that and uh, going to Houston, where you um, yeah. finished out your c- college career. So, uh, talk to me about Houston. What makes Houston so special to you, man? Uh, to me, Houston was. You know, I couldn't. I, it was it was one of my it was my option. Uh, everything I really wanted, really, it was a great coaching staff. I mean, it was total opposite of Hutch. And out of, as a kid coming out of JUCO, it was the total opposite. Huge city, 
a whole lot of people, and I mean, I just, it was the perfect scenario. Really, I had I seen the staff members that was there, and you know, Coach Belk. He really, I, 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 I thank Coach Belk a lot for just giving me the opportunity to just come there and and play and just buy into what he was telling me and and just do all the things to t- he was telling me to get better. You know, I mean, he said he had the platform and all I got to come do was work. And, you know, coming from JUCO, that's, that was my whole mindset is just, I'm ready to work as soon as I get anywhere. And um, as soon as I got there, you kind of, I felt that like, I didn't, I didn't go on no visit or anything cause it was quarantine. So like, I got a virtual visit, but like, I didn't meet no players off, off the rip. Like I was just going there off straight just word of mouth and I'm just coming to work. Like I'm ready to work. I don't care. But as soon as I got there and I met the players there, um, it was, it was everything that I, I really needed. Um, I, 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 I had Marcus Jones and, uh, Demarion Williams. Those are two guys in my room that, um, were some pretty, pretty great examples. I would have to say, um, Marcus Jones was just consistent, disciplined day in, day out. Marion Williams, we call him Pepe. He was disciplined, consistent, day in, day out. And, like, they was my real – my first real, like, this is the pros. Like, I'm like, these guys are pros. Like, this is what it takes to be – to go to the next level because they all versatile. They know everything in the defense. They got that dog in them. Like, it was literally everything that you needed to see as a growing player, as a growing college player. And um, I thank those guys a lot because they – they show me, they show me the way for real. I mean, definitely kind of like you saying, I mean, um, Houston's a great program, you yeah. know, uh, putting some, uh, you know, great players in the league, some of the best um, out there, really, um, mm-hmm. when you think about it. So, I mean, um, uh, being a part of that secondary, man, had to be awesome. Um, yeah. and, and again, learning under those people that kind of set, set the way, you know, um, uh, created the path for you to, um, you know, have a very successful career. Uh, which is cool, man. Um, that's one of the reasons why we decided to invite you to the Hula Bowl. I mean, um, we felt like um, y- y'all put y- you got you yourself put together a a solid career, and want to give you that opportunity. Um, but um, like we were saying from the get, um, you played some safety, at, you know, in our game, um, and yeah. so um, it's part of what I feel um, really separates you as a prospect, and that is your ability to, uh, you know, play corner, play safety. Um, what would you say to that? I mean, what do you think is like your best attribute? Is it that, or is it something else? Are you saying between the positions of corner and safety? Just um, what do you feel separates you from everybody else out there? Oh, um, I feel like I got a crazy range. Like, my ability to run is, I feel like, pretty amazing to me. Because, like, I mean, speed kills. If I can get to point A, point B faster than a lot of – I feel like I can get there faster than a lot of people. And I don't even sometimes realize it. Like, I just be – I see ball go – I try to go make a play, like, Especially, like, I see that as safety because, like, I get to use my range more. And when you, when I, I didn't learn from some coaches, when you see that quarterback take his hand off the ball, just go. And I feel like I excel a lot. But when it comes to corner, it's the same thing. I, I can run. I can run. I can for sure run. And then I'm also big. I can be physical. Body presence, like, it's just naturally there. Um I just, I feel like I could play, I could really play anywhere in the secondary. So, I mean, I'm comfortable everywhere. I just, I feel, feel, I feel comfortable, really. Yeah, man. Um, I, be honest with you, um, I personally feel like your versatility is going to, uh, you know, help you get drafted, man. I mean, yes, sir. because the th- biggest thing is like uh, what people need is um, somebody go down. Um, they need somebody to, to uh, you know, to stand up plug, and get the, I, that's get the job told, done. Plug right? and play. Um, and, and, and that could be a safety. It could be, um, you know, in, you know, in the slot at nickel, it could be, it could be anywhere, man. But mm-hmm. I know you can do all of those things, which is one of the reasons why we brought you into the hula bowl. Dude, just want to get your thoughts about your experience with the hula bowl, man, <laughs> whether it be the call coming down to Orlando or the whole week activities, man, talk to me. Um, The hula bowl was a great experience. I was, super happy when I got the invite because before that I didn't I didn't have any bowl invites and I I kind of you know going through this process you in the unknown a lot so you don't really know what to think 
And um, I feel like once I got the chance to go out there, like my whole mindset was I need a job. Like you can ask, the, you can ask other players that talk to me at the Hula Bowl. Like that's all I was saying the whole week. I was like, I need a job. I need a job. I need a job bad. Like exclamation points. <laughs> I need a job. <laughs> Every time I stepped on the field, it was just like, I'm, I'm ready to get a job. Like I need it bad. And, you know, just had to go take advantage of the opportunity. That's what I was hearing from all my friends, all my families, my agents. Like that's, that's all I was hearing is just, you know, you got the opportunity. So just go take advantage of it. And um, that was my plan every day. Just get better at something. Cause you know, I was playing corner at first and you feel me? I was super comfortable with that. You feel me? I feel like I was doing a good job and then people started getting hurt and people started leaving. And that's when the safety opportunity came. Coach was like, who wouldn't play safety? And I, I do. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I got back there and just started learning. I mean, it, 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 it wasn't anything foreign to me. You feel me? Like I didn't played it before. I just knew I'm the last line of defense. And the number one thing my dad told me when I was young, just don't let nobody behind you. And I mean, that was pretty easy. And then a lot of times I was guarding tight ends. I was like, I've been guarding receivers all week. This is nothing. <laughs> so, I mean, just going out there and just we were just giving it 100% effort and just going out there ready to learn and get better each day as much as I can. So, I mean, the whole experience was an experience in itself because it was I was just learning, having fun. Yeah, and um, obviously um... – I don't know, man. In some ways, I kind of felt like um, that uh, separated you uh, from a whole lot of different people. I mean, uh, when you think about uh, really all of the defensive backs, um, even at the Hula Bowl, I mean, bro, um, no joking aside, I mean, I definitely feel like you were one of the best, if not the best defensive back to come out of the Hula Bowl. Um, which um, I was really proud of, man. I, I thought you you had a, a great week. Um, what were, what you, what do you what do you feel was like your favorite part of the week? Um, give me um something. I mean, was it the interviews? Was it the um, I don't know the bowling tournament? Um, was it the Hall of Fame dinner, man? What was it about the week that you really loved the most? I got memories from each day, and that's why I say the whole thing was a great time. Like. Like I said, like I, I I love being around teammates. Like I mo- I was making quote unquote like friends fast. Like just talking, just ready to compete. Just I say like just I honestly the whole thing was a great time. Really, just I can't even pick one. Like bowling was fun. You feel I me? Mean? Like me and some other teammates was going crazy and. Um, I played somebody and he hit five strikes in a row. <laughs> I, and I don't even want to talk about that game. That game is crazy. But each day was just better and better because I was meeting more people, just going out to practice, having fun, talking to the players I was playing with. It's just the whole thing was a great experience because I can't even pick one out. The whole thing no, I mean – um. Hey, man, I think that um, one of the things about this business is building relationships. Um, And I obviously feel like you did a great job of that during the week of the Hula Bowl, whether that that be with the players, the coaches. But, buddy, you had a chance to sit down with some NFL teams for the first time uh, doing some interviews, man. Talk about that experience, about what it felt to be like in front of, uh, you know, these NFL guys. It felt good. Um, you could kind of sense, like, you kind of with some players they get kind of nervous because it is a big. This is our biggest interview of our life, and like, this is all we've ever wanted. So, some people could tense up or get nervous, but me, I was just going in there and being myself, and you know, asking scouts questions and just what I need to have on my head while going through this process, what I need to keep doing, and honestly, most of the day responses was just be yourself when you're doing these interviews, like these teams really trying to get to see who you are. And, you know, I was just really just going in there and just being myself. They asked me questions, just give them the whole rundown of what's everything that was going on, family situations, where I'm from, you know, my background and answer all their questions genuinely and honest how I feel about it. And honestly, I, I think I did a pretty good job in the interviews. Just, just how we talking now, like it, it wouldn't, I wouldn't hide anything or, 
try to be uh, stiff or anything. I was just being myself. Well, I mean, uh, bro, you obviously did a great job in those interviews, did a great job during the week, which actually um, landed you another opportunity. Yeah, you could show the the hoodie. It's okay. I mean, you ended up going to the East West Shrine, man. Yeah, um, that's yeah. that's pretty awesome. So, um, g- give me uh something about that week for you that may might have been a little different than your uh, time at the Hula Bowl. Talk about that experience. Um, winning there strictly safety, like strictly safety, and that that week at the Shrine, I learned so much about safety that I mean. My my, when I got to the game, I was totally comfortable. Like there was nothing in my head. Like I kind of, I I would say I had the same mindset like I did at the hula bowl, and that was just every day get better, like one percent better. Just learn as much as you can. We watching film. I'm asking questions. Um, I'm in there doing something totally wrong. Coach was like, "You would never play if you do this," and I'm like, "All right, never did it again." Like I'm just in there learning as much as I can because. It was a lot of stuff that I, I didn't know. And um, the coaches for the, the Atlanta Falcon coaches, they did a great job of just coaching us and just giving us small details that took us a long way. And um, I had a great time meeting a lot of the players too, just like I did at the Hula Bowl. Um, it, was, it was fun. And um, my roommate, AJ Finley, he was from Ole Miss. Um, he was a great dude just, just to watch. And, and AJ's crazy, but... Um, Man, I just I had a great time at the Toronto Bowl, really. It was just learning. And um I don't think I I don't think I really got time to stop learning. Like I just gotta I gotta keep going just to be the best me I can be because well, I f- honestly feel like when I give something a hundred percent of my 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 time and I try to focus on it and get better at it, I can be truly great at anything I put my mind to. So right now I'm just I need a job, Jimmy. Bad. No, I, was just no, I definitely, I definitely hear you there. Um, yeah. you were able to really, you know, just uh, do solid work. I mean, obviously putting together a great film there at Houston. Um, you really showed out at the Hula Bowl, giving you the opportunity to extend that. Uh, as a safety, moving to the Shrine, and bro, now you're at a point where um, you're 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 like this close to the nfl man you're an nfl prospect prospect um uh you know hopefully an nfl dra- draft pick i mean mm-hmm. wrap your mind around that real quick man um how does that feel i don't know i try to i try to not think too far i really just be one i really my motto the last couple of months is just 24 hours at a time because I can't even think ahead. I, I don't even want to. I don't even want to cloud my mind with all that because, like I said at the beginning, like going through this process, you in the unknown. You like I don't. I'm not talking to GMs and, and teams every day. Like, do y'all like me? Can I get a job? I got like I'm not doing that. So I'm just I'm in the room. I've been playing Hogwarts. I'm just I'm sitting here just 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 taking it 24 hours at a time. I'm just trying to get better when I go to training and and get as much as I can out of that. So when my pro day come, I can go run fast. And, you know, April 29th is my birthday. Like, hopefully I can have a great birthday. <laughs> hey, man, that sounds like a plan. So, yeah. Um, hey, uh, I mean, obviously um, y- you you put together a, a great uh, resume for, the, for everybody. Um, when you look back at your uh, career, uh, whether it be your, your time at JUCO, Houston, the Hula Bowl, the Shrine Bowl, um, give me one of your best memories, man. I mean, when you think about like maybe a game or a play, what was one, one of like the best moments that you were a part of as a, as a collegiate player? Best moment? I don't have some pretty great moments in my game. Give me your most recent. Mm. All right. Uh, Let me, let me spin this a different way. How's this? this? No, no, no. Talk to me about your very first college interception. Oh, my first one. Um, I think we was playing. Who's it? Oh, you want like from Juco too? Yeah, give it to me. Oh, 
honestly, I think um I think he ran. I think it was my first. It was my first time like starting for real, and I didn't. I didn't really. I'm. It's my first game as corner. Like I ain't never played a game of corner, Jimmy. I'm just out here trying to make plays. I'm trying to stick on my guy. That's it. I think my dude ran a post, and he ran all the way to the other side of the field, the biggest post I'd ever seen. And the quarterback, um, he's like the quarterback who threw it to me, one of my friends, actually. And, um, yeah, he was getting sacked. I think he tried to throw it, and I just undercut it and caught it. And uh, I'll never forget the video. You just heard my dad screaming the whole time. He just screaming, yeah, baby, yeah, baby. I'm like, man, that was kind of – that was a big point for me because just watching that, uh, I've always – like my aunt says, I've always taken like the untraditional route. Like nothing has went normal in my life on the path that I've been. And um, just to get to that moment where I'm in college and I'm catching my first pick and like I'm doing everything that, you know, I dreamed of is it, it was kind of crazy. And um, hearing my dad's reaction to it was kind of funny too. That's that's great, man. I mean, obviously being able to go out there and um have your family cheer for you. Um, yep. and, and see you do so well it certainly uh, has has to be like one of the best feelings yeah no I, um, honest that's that is one of the best feelings for sure um so art so um tell us just a little bit about you that's not football related if you don't mind I mean I know that you're you're football through and through but give me a, at least one or two things about you um whether it be some hobbies some interests or something but give me a little something mm-hmm. about you to share I do got, I mean, I got three things, three little things, nothing crazy. Like, I just, I'm a big gamer. Um, anybody out there that's waiting to buy uh, the Harry Potter game, Hogwarts, go get it. Um, I do, in the future, my second one, I do want to be a chef in the future. I do want to be a chef. I can't lie. It's, I want to, I want to cook something up, Jimmy. So, you, you, you a decent cook that. right now or what? Oh no, nah, Jimmy! I'm a pasta warrior right now. <laughs> That's about all I got for you. But when I go to restaurants and stuff, I'll be, I know what's good. You feel me? I'm probably gonna pick the best thing on the menu. If you ask our linebacker Donovan Mutant, he say my my flavors when I pick my food be on point every time. I have not missed. Every my plate always look good. And um, honestly, I want to get to the point where I can make. Anything that pops in my head that I think is just fire, like I just want to mm, make it. Mm, kitchen smell good, house smell good. I want to see my girlfriend come downstairs and be like, "What you making?" Like I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do all that. You know. Well, maybe it's either a chef or an owner of a restaurant. How's that? Both. I do both. <laughs> That'd be cool. There you go, man. And you're gonna give me one more thing, right? Uh, yeah. Honestly, I didn't got some recent, like a recent like desire like probably when I'm done playing football or maybe like when I got free time but our linebacker Donovan Mutant it's his fault that I've been locked into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu like I've been locked in on a different level like I ain't never just watched so are, that down. are you watching it or are you practicing it no I'm watching it I'm I'm I got the bug right now bad to where like if I get some free time whenever like the process slows down and I'm settled in somewhere or I mean, off season or anything like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu look fun. I cannot lie. Interesting. So you watching like some Hoist Gracie stuff or what? Oh, uh, what's doing that? Ryan Ryan Gordon. Um, I've been watching him a lot, and yeah, he just bullies people bad, like bad. <laughs> <laughs> he bullies people bad. All but, right. Uh, I literally, yeah, that's all I've been watching on YouTube. Like my whole YouTube right now is just Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and. The Harry Potter game I've been playing. <laughs> All right. Well, um, those things sound like a lot of fun. Um, I, I want to go ahead and uh, close up shop here, but do appreciate your time. Um, just kind of sharing about you and your journey and um, a lot of great things happening for you right now. I mean, you got your pro day happening here soon. Um, mm-hmm. And then um, hopefully getting your name called uh, come draft day. So I want to jinx it uh, for you, dude, but that's what I'm praying for. So yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, before we uh, close it down, um, I want to give you an opportunity to talk to all them scouts out there, dude. I mean, I know that you talked to plenty of them already, but for those who you haven't talked to, I want you to talk to them directly right now and tell them why you would make a, a great addition to their team and why you need to get drafted. So go for it. First off, I feel like I'm a hard worker. I'm going to go come in day in, day out. You're going to get the same person. 
I'm not coming in moody, not trying to be here. Like, I want to be, I want to be there. I want to get better. I'm coming to get better every day. And that's on literally anything, just anything I can get better. That's special teams. You need me to get better at, at technique. I'm going to get better at everything I can possibly. I mean, I would do anything. I need a job. Like, I, if you want me to do it, I will go do it. And I'm going to come in day in, day out. And give them my all. That's that's honestly all I have time for, and that's all I want to do. So I mean, I'm just coming to work, and I'm coming to get better. And my ultimate goal, is I want to win a, I want to win a couple Super Bowls. Like I, ain't, I didn't, I didn't got real close to some championships, and and got second runner up, all that. Uh, when I get to the next level, I want to win a Super Bowl, and that's all I'm working on to be the best me, to be the best teammate and be the best art I can possibly be. So you're just going to get somebody that's going to come in and try to be the best. Awesome. Well, uh, do wish you the very best of luck in this process. I mean, I know you're going to kill that pro day and really showcase your talent um, in front of all them scouts, but um, uh, it's been a great uh, to just sit down with you once more uh, before that happens. So uh, best of luck to you. All right. I appreciate you. All right, once again, we got ourselves Art Green, defensive back out of Houston. Um, check him out. He's going to be one of the uh, top safeties, uh, you know, in this year's draft. So uh, thanks.